I can tell that to Wolfie the Blinker Blitzer. One should tell that to a Prancer and Dancer on NBC and CBS and ABC, Mr. Obama. You certainly owe it to us. Now, Mrs. Obama copied Saul Alinsky, who wrote a book called Rules for the Obamas. In a speech to Melania, Trump allegedly plagiarized. Now, who was the first one to start the ball rolling on this? Is there anyone out there who can tell me who dug this up? Which one of, which one of the lowlifes in the media did this first? Who, uh, for Hillary, did this? I already played the, 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 the British Prime Minister saying the nuke would kill hundreds of thousands, which is a great... No, no one responds. None. But, uh, it's all you want to talk about. But you got to go with the news. you got to go with the flow. The flow is this. Here's a little bit of a flow for you. Remember when we heard about the transgender orientation of the military and how outraged we were that they would pay for sex change operations while war heroes are dying in the hallways of VA hospitals? You know what they've just... And remember what I said... Wait a minute, how can a transsexual even serve in the military who's about to have such a procedure? It will take them out of duty, if they're even in duty, for two years. Guess what just came out? When you hear this, you're not going to believe it. They should all be lined up and arrested for this. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE-SAVAGE. rules from transgender military personnel. Of all the shames this administration has committed, this is the height of shame. Why? It's not because of the transgender issue. It's that they would have such an upside-down view of the world that they would push a sex change operation and pay for it and put, it ahead, put this person ahead of the line over a combat veteran waiting for surgery, waiting for treatment for months and years. The Pentagon has issued a comprehensive manual detailing protocol for service members undergoing a sex change transition that includes, listen to this, extended time off. Remember I said, how could you even do this? You hear that they all want to serve. They want to serve, though. What are they doing sex changes for at your expense? I don't care if you're uh, sexually oriented that way. Then go and serve. Go on the front lines. Show you want to serve. Go fly a plane. Go steer a ship. Go drop a bomb somewhere. But well, don't come in and then want, want a surgery now, and then all of a sudden you get time off, and everyone has to, you know, take care of you. You got to get a commander's approval. In the middle of a war on ISIS, they got to call in a commander and say, General, uh, we have a, someone who wants some medical treatment. That he has to stop the war against ISIS now to, to find out if the guy really is a transgender. Okay. It's a prohibition, though, on living a more preferred gender lifestyle on base. What does that mean? In the step-by-step -step process, the insanity laid out by the Department of Defense, Ashton Carter is insane. Ashton Russia Carter should be tried for war crimes for what he has done to the military. America, we have that in the Defense Secretary my whole life that I know. Russia it away. goes all the way back to the era of Vietnam. Europe. They're all in it for the contracting and nothing else. These guys... <laughs>